Dungeness Crab, the most sought after crab on the West Coast, fetching prices upwards of $12.99 a pound. But with most supermarkets out there carrying live crab, they're usually crabs that have already died, discounted at a fraction of the price. Like this store in San Gabriel, California. Now, I'm a fisherman. I catch my own fish instead of buying at the store. But if the target catch is cheaper than the bait, how can you go wrong with that? I'm at an Asian supermarket looking at the crabs right now. Right now it's crab season. Crab season makes the crab hell cheap. Look at this. Okay. That's actually medium price. Other places $4.99 a pound. Check this out. $1.99 a pound. That's $1.99 a pound. $2 a pound for Dungeness Crab. Right here. Dead Dungeness Crab. I'm always scouring these stores to see if there's any cheap deals like this, and this is the perfect opportunity. I've never seen it this cheap before. I usually go for $2.99, even $3.99 is fine, but $1.99? I'm going to show you guys how to pick the good dungeon, dead dungeon crabs. Don't let these crabs go to waste. $1.99 a pound. Alright, so you want to pick through the pile, and the first thing you want to look for is like any breaks in the shell like, like this. Um, Alright, so look at the non-broken ones. So these are all, these ones right here all seem to be alright. Okay, so I separate them out, broken, non-broken. Out of these broken ones, now look at the color. Okay, you want to look at the bottom flap. This abdomen is the first to change color. So this one's already starting to change color. It's a little darker than the rest. It's white. See, these are the same color. A little darker right there. Uh, no good. This whole thing is dark. Dark is not good. That's anoxic bacteria. This one's a little darker than the rest. Okay, this one's actually, it looks okay. Alright, next thing you want to look for is the scent. Alright, take the crab, the underside. And smell. Okay, smell there and also turn it around and smell the back too. Right here, you can split the crab open just a little bit, just right here. You can split it open right there. And smell this part right here. Let me see if I can get a better example. Like right here. Can you see how it's opening it a little bit? You can smell in there. Okay, what you're looking for is Okay, if it smells bad, no, okay. If it smells medium, if you're not sure, no, okay. You have to be sure. You don't want crab disease, so. Uh, if the crab is bad, it should give off this like, sort of like alcohol. It doesn't smell like alcohol, it feels like alcohol. So take a whiff of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol or Purell, and it'll kind of burn your nose, and it really hurts. Um, it's much more mild with the rotten crab, but it gives the same feeling, I'd say like 25% intensity. So, yeah. So. You want it? You want it? Oh, no, no, I'm just uh, looking at them. I, I bought a couple already. Yeah, you just wanna like smell it to see if it smells bad or anything. And then, if it's not bad, then it's probably okay. Color, smell, don't want to waste it. The last thing that you want to check is the mouth right here. Um, check if the mouth is open or closed. If it's closed, that means the muscles are still pretty tight and fresh. So, honestly, these ones are all, all looking pretty good. Oh, this one, uh, there you go. His mouth is hanging open, no good. All right, these ones look okay. This one looks okay, and that one also looks okay. So, check them out. Alright, All right. got my crab, and I want to check this out. Got two big crabs in here. 
6.21. Three pounds of crab, two Dungeons crabs for only six dollars. That's a steal, guys. Pick out two really good fresh Dungeons crabs. These will be perfect. Pro tip: help them last longer. Always ask for ice, and the fish department will always give you ice. So, ice right there. All right. Pro tip number two: what if you're not going home for a while? You know what you should do? Don't buy them right now. Keep it in the store. Look what the store has. A refrigerated section. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna like commandeer the refrigerator section and put your crab inside, hide it in there, and pick it up later when you're ready. So look around, look around, see if there's any empty spots down there. Somewhere easy. Um, easy to find later, but not too easy that other people will find it. All right, so look around, see if you find anything. Oh, these are nice. Okay, always look for these with the doors right here. These doors right here, they, they go out back pretty far, so if you like tuck it way down in there, those are good hiding spots for your fish or your meat or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep on looking. Okay, I, I found just the place right here. Check this out. Okay, you want somewhere deep? You want to get something that not too many people are likely to buy a lot of so they don't open up the front? And this is perfect because I just found this spot right here. Right in there. Right behind. Right there. We're going to put it in there. This is our as Donovan strain butter. A word Donovan would call this street locker, but I call it my crab locker. All right. There you go. <laughs> Can't even see it. There ain't no crabs in there. It's just beer. There you go. I'll pick it up later to prove it. Right now it's approximately 4 o'clock p.m. And then uh, probably gonna pick it up at 6.30 or so. So we'll see. Sun setting. <clears throat> it's about um, say like 5.15, 5.30 right now. I'm at a different store. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how they deal with their dead crabs. It's not pretty. All right, you want a surefire way never to be able to sell your dead crabs ever again? Cook them for the customer. Man, look at all these dead lobsters and dead crabs. They're not even cheap. That's right, they cook their crabs and lobsters when they die, right? It's to preserve them, you know, like if you cook them, they, they stay good longer, but here's the thing. If I don't get to examine them before they were cooked, I don't know how exactly fresh they were, and they're literally all on the same plank but I can't even smell them now. And I don't want to cook crabs, they boiled it. I'm against boiling, but whatever, that's besides the point. Like, I, I can't tell it, how fresh they are, and so there's no point. Now I'll never buy them. I'm like one of the few people who actually ever buy dead crabs. And this place, never buy dead crabs from ever again. They used to have good dead crabs, but now they're all cooking them, and they're just, they're just stacking up. Like, they're just stacking up in here, all these dead crabs. and wow, Look at that huge lobster, all that claw meat. Nobody wants these. Okay, but in their defense, their normal crabs are, as you can see over here, pretty cheap. $5 a pound for a live crab, pretty good, I guess. Yo, check this out. Look, these are gooey duck clams. And look, right here. It's a pea crab. Looks like it's, it might, it's dead, but a pea crab, that's so cool. It was probably living inside of here, but. All right guys, as you can see, it's dark out. It's 8 p.m., oh, almost 8 p.m., it's 10 minutes till. It literally closes at 8 p.m., so. I gotta go get, I gotta go in and get it now. Um, if this works, then basically I've used the refrigerator to the maximum of my capability for today at least. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Moment of truth. Yeah. My 
my six dollar crabs. There you go. I'm gonna go buy these right now. Six dollar crabs, guys. Six dollar crabs. Using the refrigerator for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a quick recap. Check to see if its mouth hangs open. Closed is good. Check to see if its color. Dark abdomen is bad. And then just smell it, see if it gives off an odor. Um, just, you know, be smart with it. If it's like has a broken shell or missing too many limbs, or if you're just unsure about the smell, then don't buy it. Sound good? Thanks for watching.